Ritsuvo and welcome back around to Let's Play Gothic. We're still on our way to the new camp together with this guy named Mordrak. And we we encountered the first wolf, so I stepped back because they're way way too strong for us. I just watch how he's No, don't kill that wolf. I would hate it if that random march just killed the wolf. Oh oh. No, 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 no. More drag. What you can, Lee. Thanks. No! Oh crap, crap, crap. No. No, don't kill me, please. I'm too young to die. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm just such a wimp running away from a wolf. Um, this guy is a hunter. He can teach us how to get some trophies from. from, uh, from the beast. A little. What do you want? Uh, we can skin reptiles, remove claws, remove fur, and remove teeth. The only skill really worth getting is remove teeth because it's required. To, because it's one time required, you need to get some uh, certain items, certain animal trophies. And for some animal trophies, you need to remove teeth. You need to get that skill. How do I? Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Um. Maybe it's also, you can also do, get those things, uh, those trophies at random traders, but it's easier just to spend that one random skill point. So we're nearly at the new camp. Nearly. It's only a short way. But more like one stein to kill those pesky little goblins. Come on, kill it. I also like how Mordrak is a completely beginner with the, with the one-handed weapon. He's just holding it in both hands. I mean, he's not intelligent. To, he's just such a moron. But okay. Uh, no, we don't going to lure that, lure them. Uh, when we get to to those guys, we already got the first armor, which means we can kill them without any problems. As you get you, as you get your first armor, you pretty much can kill everything that's um, under a hundred. If it gives you a hundred experience, that means okay, wolf's not. But that, there's the problem of having a. Oh, we well, here. here we are. When you pass through the gate, you'll reach the new camp. Talk to Lars. He will help you. Give this to him. It's a precious ring. It's your ticket to see Lars. You need a good reason to be allowed to meet him. Well, thinking about it, I think I'll stay here for some time. I've earned enough for now, and things are heating up in the old camp. If you want, come and meet me at the bar. It's the hut out on the lake. Take care. I see will. You. Okay, this is the new camp. And uh, this camp is full of rogues and bandits and mercenaries and the water mages and those pas uh, peasants who need to farm the rice for the rice schnapps. Let me just ignore those random peasants. Hey, just arrived. We need somebody to take some water to the peasants in the rice fields. Oh, this really? way you can make friends with a few people. What do you think? Um, okay. Sure, I'll be glad to help. Great. Go to the rice lord. He'll give you the water and tell you everything you need to know. Uh, we're not really going to do that quest because it's... Uh, going to... Yeah, it's going to do that quest because it's quite pointless. You take care of the rice fields, don't you? Why? You looking for work? Lefty sent me. Oh yeah? What did he say? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. There's a dozen bottles of water. There's about twice that amount of peasants. So make sure you share it out evenly. Um, this quest is absolutely pointless. You can do that, but it gives you not any experience at all. You just give that to every peasant, then in the next morning if you walk, um, go to left, he just won't force you to do the same thing o 
again, so we're just going to ignore Lefty. Do you intend to go through this gate? Do you intend to stop me? No, but you should know what's waiting for you. This is not like in the old camp, and not like being with the sect loonies either. Then what am I expecting here? There are no guards or Templars to look after you. It's every man for himself. The only ones who stick together are us mercenaries. Watch your back. This isn't even a bad message that nobody cares about you. That there's no thing like uh, guards who, who are watching you. This is this will become very nice in the later chapters. You will see why what I mean. I was just t talk to that random guy. Are you looking for something? I'm looking for leaks in the dam. I reckon there's a lurker gnawing at the foundations. The beast grinds its teeth and claws against the stones and wooden beams underwater. If it carries on, the whole dam will soon be undermined. Okay, um, we just kill the beast. We're going to kill that beast later because it's way too strong for us at the moment. But this quest can also wait for the later chapters. So, where do we actually need to go? I have no plan. <laughs> no, of course I have a plan where I need to go. I just don't know it yet. <laughs> uh, first we get, um, we go, uh, we get our armor first. This is a little bit annoying because this is a quite a long way we need to go. We go to the actually free mine. This is the mine of, uh, of the new camp, but unlike the old camp, they don't uh, collect the ore for getting um for selling it to the king. They collect the ore to blast the barrier. Who's around the whole? Um, the whole uh, colony. Oh, you know how I punch the gun. Ole! Haha! <laughs> Ole! Haha! <laughs> this uh, Like I said, they don't need the ore for. Oh my god. Pull down the volume. I hope the screaming wasn't that wasn't that uh, bad. Uh, as I said, they don't collect the ore for getting stuff from for getting stuff from the king. They want to blast the barrier with the ore because the ore has a tiny bit, a tiny amount of magic in it. And more that. And I want to show the. Big or mountain nearly. Uh, in the next episode, the problem is you can't steal that. I guess it would, be, it would take too long of taking every tiny or <laughs> or nugget from the stack. I don't have any clue where he should put that big or mountain. Okay, we need to watch out. There's anywhere a wolf? There he is. Uh, I don't. Where's the more rat doing? There's also something of normal nature there's normally the wolf would something some uh, sometimes hunt the mole rat down you see that maybe later there are also some passages in the forest where you see like a wolf like a mole rat runs away from a random wolf which is kind of neat but okay we reached the free mine no oh, shut up I better I uh, I just, I um I going to skip some really unnecessary um unnecessary dialogues because I'm I realized in the first uh, videos that he, that there are some past the first uh, video in the old camp takes like seven minutes only full of dialogue or oh, stop smoking you can't get your dope later so this is Swiney. Who are you? I'm the best mining engineer this damn colony has ever seen, my boy. I make sure half our boys don't go getting themselves killed by fallen rocks just because they're too stupid to scrape the right places. We're all proud of you. I'd like to join you as a scraper. Oh, yeah? Well, just don't think you're going to get anything much out of it. There's three portions of rice a day. Any extra, you'll have to see to yourself. 
Do you know why we're doing this? We're doing this job so one day we can all walk out of here to freedom. That was that, that means I mean. all the yours to be handed in. Then it go. Yeah. That's the most. Do you at least have any? Ex um. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay, we got our first armor. Yeah, it's a little bit over the top. It's just some um, dick, dicker dress, which gives us enough protection for basically beat the most enemies without any pro troubles. I mean, scavenger will scavenger more or less will do like no damage anymore to us. And well, they look pretty fancy, don't they? And um, that's the conclusion of this episode of Let's Play Gothic. Just be gosh, what we don't know. Oh, ach.